So it was an average Saturday. I just poured my morning coffee and got on social media when an ad for a new kind of air purifier popped up. Trax, the total room air cleaning system. Using two-stage filtration, including a medical grade HEPA filter and UVC light, Trax removes allergens, pet dander, bacteria, odors, and coronaviruses out of the air. <laughs> yeah, right. Then, knock at the door. What the heck? It was a Trax air purifier, with a note on top. It was my birthday that day, and I was about 30 minutes late for my surprise party, but... No, testing this Trax air purifier took priority. So I brought the Trax in and turned it on. It seemed to work pretty good. The air smelled clean. Good amount of suction. Not too loud. But I really wanted to put it to the test. The website, TraxPurifiers.com, says that with the medical grade HEPA filter and UVC light technology, particles as small as 0.3 microns were filtered at 99% efficiency. That sounded like a challenge to me. So I called my buddies Gino and Jay and started building the best airtight chamber $40 can buy. After that, we bought some smoke bombs and got ready to see what the Trax could really do. I sped up the video a bit, but all in all, the tracks handled two smoke bombs in just over a minute. Next, we tried four smoke bombs. So we started the experiment with just two smoke bombs. It filtered it almost instantly. We upped it to four, same thing, instantaneous. The box got clear right away, don't know where the smoke went. Now we're gonna do 10. This is gonna be the big experiment. Climb on inside. <laughs> Here's our grapes of death. We're gonna open up the filter afterwards and see uh, how much that HEPA filter brought into the tracks and captured. Turns out 10 smoke bombs were no match for the tracks. Now we wanted to open up the back and see what state the HEPA filter was in. This is the back side of the filter. If the tracks wasn't doing its job, this would be dirty. But as you can see, it looks pretty much new. The front side of the filter was a different story. It was caked in dirt and filth and smoke bomb residue. But the good thing is, it was dirty on the front side, but on the back it was completely clean, which shows that the Trax wasn't letting anything through to the other side. Let's also take a moment to appreciate how well the HEPA filter is built. It took us about 10 minutes to get inside the thing with a screwdriver and a hammer. And then I wanted to lay out all the pieces of the filter with a time lapse, and it took me about 20 to 30 minutes because there's just so much material inside this filter. And not to mention, even if some bacteria or a virus does get through, it will land on top of the HEPA filter and get zapped by the UVC light technology that's inside of the tracks. So I started off as a skeptic and I ended up as a believer in the tracks. The way it handled those smoke bombs is very impressive. Um, it's not gonna win any design awards. It's just basically a big metal box, but I kinda like that. It's an elegant design, allows it to blend into a variety of room settings. Also, this thing's built like a tank. Uh, it's really hard to damage. I've dropped it a few times, kicked it. 
I lent it to my friend Simone to see if it could last the night with her two-year-old. handled everything perfectly. I'm excited to get a new HEPA filter in here and have it running in here constantly. Two thumbs up for me.